Mm. One of the things which runs all through the book is this perception of how some people maintain their integrity in the middle of all the terror and others are terrified, understandably, into cooperation. Um, I mean, there's an incident in the labour camp where you're very young watching this. You must can't be more than nine or nine or ten, where some inmates are forced to execute, to hang other inmates. Just tell us of that moment, because that seems to be very important to your whole later life. Mm -hmm. Yes, th this was uh, a hanging because a number of inmates tried to escape from the camp, and when they were caught, they were terribly beaten, and then they were uh, to be hanged. And the SS, our guards, ordered their best friends to, to, to execute them. And um, uh, this was the first hanging I, I had seen. Uh, I was about, yes, you were right, I was nine years old, uh, without hoods. And they, they took, they asked this one inmate to put the, no, I can't think of the, the noose. The noose over the head of the one to be executed. And he couldn't. His hands were shaking terribly. And the, the one the, to be executed put his head through and kissed the hand of his friend. Mm. And that to me was was a type of moral courage that that we don't talk about when we talk about courage in the camps and resistance. Uh, this affected me very much and made me think that that we are missing the humanity and the the moral courage that these people exhibit. Do, do you have any memory of how the guards reacted when this thing happened? Yes, the the uh, SS man who was in charge was he had lost. It was sort of as if. He had been deprived of the pleasure to execute the fellow. He just kicked the chair out from under him mm. in order to... Uh, yeah. You could see it. I, I, he he and, was angry at the humanity Right, of the and we rejoiced. I mean, this yeah. is... I, I remember thinking, ah, he didn't get what he wanted to do. Yeah.